as long as it sounds is good. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Sound that kid? You hear that kid? I heard that kid. <laughs> oh, no, you heard that kid. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, man, no, no. I ain't ready for this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> go ahead. Do All your right. thing. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. You won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have to interrupt you at every two seconds. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Adventure Cast. This is the third episode. Uh, I know, I know, I said I was going to do this uh, every other week, but I've I've had a hellish three weeks. Okay, three weeks ago, I was sick. I was deathly sick. When I get sick, it's horrible. It's it's terrible. Everybody's at risk. So so I had to take a break. I had to take a break and cool down. Last week, uh. Uh, what happened last week? Oh, there were a lot of a lot of close deaths to like me and people that I knew. Uh, so I had to I had to handle those situations as well. And then last week, uh, work work has been hell. Work has been the worst thing in my life. <laughs> so I've been a little bit busy, but I'm back and I, and I and I got a a familiar voice, a familiar face with me. What's going on, Jonas? I don't know what you're talking about. That's jo- let's see if I'm gonna flip uh, it. That's Jonas <laughs> that way. There we go. That's Jonas from uh. uh let's hey. see. Let's see Jonas from Between Lines. Yeah. And Jonas I, from Lost. And Jonas from Just JJ Vlogs. Regardless, <laughs> you might be wondering why am I here? Why am I back? Well, I happen to slide a couple of hundos under. Under his door there, Namako. <laughs> Jonas is actually going to be the official co-host uh, for the Adventure Cast, uh, yeah. pending, pending, you know, a little, a little uh, fine print. <laughs> but fine, he's gonna, fine, fine. what's up? What's up? What's up? The what? Money what? hasn't gone to you yet. <laughs> it hasn't been wired yet. Uh, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna be on the podcast very regularly, you know, provided we can both find time on our schedules to. Uh, record for an hour or so uh, every other week. Uh, I still plan on doing the show every other week. Um, if Jonas is available, Jonas will be on. If not, I'll 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 figure up some other bullshit. That's what I'll do. <laughs> oh yeah, we can cuss here. I remember yeah. this is a cussing domain. Just make it. Just keep it a little. You know, make it appropriate. Don't just say it for 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 whatever reason have it have it be a, a, a in the moment thing. You know. I brought I brought my purple. Purple hippo pup, uh, pillow with me. Oh, cool! Because I got my purple bandana on today. Oh, nice. We, we match. Might, we might be matching. That wasn't planned. That was. I can't. Oh, even, I can't oh, even see oh. Jonas right now. You, Jonas can't see me. I won't see yeah. this until next week when I'm editing. <laughs> we, we might. We, I don't know if it'd be better if we saw each other. It might be weird. Yeah, it'd be a little bit weird. Like this, this takes the edge off a little bit. I realize, I realize this keeps me a little bit comfortable because then I can look over here and I can do whatever, and you won't even, you won't even know until like yeah, next week. Oh, dang! <laughs> and then I can look like, that how... way, and you won't know until next. Week. <laughs> You're like, oh man, that happened. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's catch up. Like I said, uh, it's been a long three weeks for me. Jonas, uh, feel free to update the audience who caught the last episode that you were on on what all has uh, happened in your life. I, um, well, my boss invited me skiing. Mm-hmm. And he's been doing this for the past, like, five months trying to get me to go skiing. And I finally went into peer pressure, and I went skiing with him, and I broke my fibula. Oh, on my left leg. Oh, so, damn. Yeah. For, th- for those of you who don't know, your fibula is uh, a leg bone located in the lateral side of the tibia. Uh, that's another That's another leg bone. It's, it's really important for walking, isn't it? Yes. I can't put any weight on that leg at all. That's, that's... And it sucks. I have crutches. I, ha- I can put them on display. My beautiful crutches that aren't actually mine. They're some random person that we bought them from goodwill but uh they're mine now they're, yours they're too now. short and but that's all that matters that's all that matters yeah that's, that's unfortunate i do wish that you recover quickly but healthily you know not like a rush mm-hmm. recovery i hope your hope your leg or your your fibula heals properly i hope it does too it kind of sucks yeah 
I, I can't say that I know what that feels like. Like I said, I've, I, I told you before, but I've never broken a bone in my body, so I have no idea like what you might be going through. I've I've horribly injured every part of my body, but not not a broken bone. Well, I feel like it's I, go for it. Go ahead. I'm talking. It's not much. that bad to be honest. Really? I yeah. I had. Let's see. So I I said this in a vlog on the on just JJ Vlogs channel. Please. Mm-hmm. Please watch my stuff. I'm going to be very sad if you don't. Um, anyways, so over there I said that depression is far, far, far worse than having any broken bone because, like, being depressed it never it feels like it never ends when you're in that scenario. Mm-hmm. And I was depressed for, like, three years, so I talk about that on the blog channel a lot because it really impacts the way that you look at the world. But... Regardless, I um, it breaking a bone, the pain really only lasts for probably around 30 minutes at most for like the initial like severe pain. And then after that, it's just kind of like if you move it or if you touch it, like unless it's like entirely shattered, mm-hmm. I mean, then it would probably hurt for a very long time. But uh, I mean, doing like one break or two breaks and you're in a bone probably... I mean, at least for me, has not hurt because I've broken probably, I think, like six or seven bones at this point. Oh, wow. And it, it just does not, it doesn't stick with you. This is probably one of the more painful ones, mm-hmm. but it just does, it doesn't last as long as having some sort of thing like anxiety or depression that lasts seemingly forever. Uh, so, like yeah, I said, it's not that bad. Like I said, I've never, I've never broken a bone in my body, so I don't know what that feels like. But I, I imagine breaking like if i were to break a bone one way or another i imagine i just would be like leave let me let me go it's my time let me go like i I was thinking about it on the the drive to work today not specifically like the same bone that you broke but i i was thinking if if i ever got to a point where i break something that shouldn't be broken and it it takes like crazy surgery to fix it i would probably just be like let me let me go because like i said i've cut open so sad I, i've cut everything on my body like uh i've cut my knee open i've cut my lip open i've cut part of my ear i've like bit through my chin that was horrible that was horrible i've heard i've heard of people doing that that's that's not pretty sight right and those like just just like the tiny holes that they were i was like mm-hmm. yo let me go <laughs> let me go so i imagine i imagine if i break a bone i'd be like nope this is it don't nobody waste your time it's it's my time i'm gone <laughs> oh, you know, the funny thing about that is i immediately i like i try to stand up you can see it in the recording um yeah it's actually on the vlog channel yeah I saw and it. on the main channel and this on, on all like, three <laughs> <laughs> i uploaded it on every single one of them to prove yeah. a point like i uh, you can see me go down the hill and it doesn't even look like that big of a fall i just like flip over a couple of times and i uh-huh. immediately try to get back up and i'm like ow i'm in pain uh-huh. but um i walked you, I don't. You can't really see it in that video how high I am up on that mountain. But I walked all the way down the mountain because I refused the toboggan because I wanted my pride. I. Oh, you walked down after you. I walked it. down after I broke my fibula. Bold, I used bold. the ski poles and I put all my weight on those and like mm. took a step, did it again, did it again, used them as like crutches all the way down the mountain. Bold. Because when when guy like two guys slide up to me. Um, like I'm butt sliding down at this point, and then I I just stand up to start hobbling my way down because I figured that it was a lot easier to just do it that way. Two guys slide up to me, and one's like, "Oh, dude, I saw you were in pain, and I got you the medical, the ski med, or whatever it is." Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Do you need help?" And then I was like, "No, I'm gonna walk down myself. Uh-huh. I need, I have my pride." And then. <laughs> yeah. The first guy, the first guy that actually got the ski med was like, oh, well, I guess I'm wrong. And then he like, he just kept going. He was like kind of pissed off. And then Uh the ski med guy was talking to me and he's like, are you sure you don't need help? And stuff like that. And trying to reassure me. And he walked me all the way down the mountain. But it was, uh, I made it. I made it. I went all the way down without having the toboggan sled thing. 
Yeah. So I felt proud of myself. I still had my pride. That's bold. Nah, couldn't be me. Couldn't be. <laughs> no, wait, you're way better than me. That's for sure. <laughs> did Pain you like, like the second that you hit the I guess the snow, did you know like oh yeah, this is broken? I knew that it was severely jacked up. Okay. So, so like you knew I, the, the pain was yeah, like so, it, was, it was instant. Have you ever been skiing before? Or? Nope. And because like that. That, things I haven't done, go skiing, uh, go skateboarding, and there's one other. There's one other. Is it skydiving? Skydiving. Because <laughs> because like I said, if if something goes wrong, I'm gonna tell everybody, yo, listen, save your time, save your money, just let let me go. Don't worry about it. I'll be I'll I'll see you. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my but gosh. specifically because I know if I break something, I'm not gonna want. I'm not gonna want to go through that. Wow, I, uh, I I would never be able to say that because I'd be like I I don't uh like for me like this is all there is. But I like I, I'm an atheist, so I don't believe in like an afterlife or anything else. Mm-hmm. So I just be like I'm like this is why <laughs> yeah I'm here for this life. I'm I need to do something with it. I can't just sit here and die. I got to get back up. Well, I go into why I feel that way. Like it, it's mm-hmm. it may sound like I'm joking, but I, I'm 100 percent serious when I say that. And I, I go into it more. But what we're gonna talk about later kind of covers that. So, oh yeah, so, yeah. I, so I don't okay. I don't want to go too deep into it now. This is still the intro. What are we talking about we're, today? We're, oh, what are we talk about today? What are we gonna talk about today? I, well, like I said, uh, this is gonna be. I plan on doing this every other week, so that gives us a lot of time to play different games, uh, both on mm-hmm. our channel and in our spare time or in our personal time. So I figured we can open up with talking about uh, the different games that we played. We can go. We, we what, got what like three weeks to go back because that was the last time uh, anything went up on the channel. Uh, I'm sorry. Anything went on the podcast for both of us, so we can go back three weeks. Uh, we can we can spend some time uh, talking about the games that we played. If if you want, you can go first. My my wonderful co-host. Uh, I if not, I can go. I, I I'm prepared. Definitely to has something I want to talk about. Today. Oh, go for it. I would lo- I would love to oh, know. I, I would love to know, Jonas. What games have you been playing? Uh, <laughs> what was that? That was that was, oh, that, like, that, was me, that was me formally asking you. Okay, that that's kind of scary. It's like a doctor's like <laughs> talking. He just like starts talking. Like I'm gonna really like. Hey, I really want to know your opinion. Like, <laughs> whoa, you're a doctor, dude. Like, whoa, okay, chill. Well, well I, I like to know. I like to, I, whenever uh, whenever someone does something. Like I, I genuinely, sometimes I genuinely want to know. So like that, that's me oh, genuinely okay. asking you, what games have you played? I know what he sounds like when he's genuine, guys. He's never sounded like that before. That's that's my genuine voice. That's 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 me being serious. That's me trying to not make a joke out of things. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> sometimes people. Sometimes, I realize sometimes people. Have, opposite. Sometimes people have have a problem telling when I'm joking when I'm serious. That's me. That's me like genuinely wanting to know what what okay. games have you been playing. So, I played this terrible game, and I would say terrible for a couple of reasons. It's it's a good... Okay, I would say it's a good game for a lot of reasons, a bad game for a few reasons, but those bad things, the things that it's bad at definitely overshadow the good things. Yeah, like way, way much. So, the game's called Dragon Sin, and it starts out with like super epic like do, 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 music and it's like yeah you said it's, so it's, it's called dragon sin yeah oh so oh i see i think i see it's on steam yeah it's on okay. steam you basically just go and kill kill dragon things like i don't, I don't know mm-hmm. so the game starts out with you just like randomly in a cave and it's like oh the cave's collapsing somebody must be making it collapse and then you run through the tutorial section which is literally 30 seconds long and then um, you make it into the game, and so you start finding bosses, and it's the the boss mechanic is what makes it terrible. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing other than boss fights or quote quote dragon fights in this game. Okay. I only did two of them because I couldn't make it past the third one. Mm-hmm. So it, it has this mechanic where you do 
quick attacks and then you can do charged attacks. So you, your quick attacks don't do damage, but what they do is they low, there's basically two health bars to the boss and it lowers one of the health bars. And then, um, and then once it reaches the, the bottom, you can actually start doing damage to it. Mm -hmm. So it has like a shield basically. And once you get down the shield, you can uh, do damage you to it. Actual damage. Though. Well, okay. Not extra damage. You're doing damage, like, period. That's the only time you can do damage. And then after, like, probably 10 seconds, it gets back up and starts fighting you again, and you have to do the shield all over again. Mm -hmm. And you can only do about a quarter of the first boss's health. And by the time you get to the second boss, you're doing about an eighth of its health every time you attack it. And there's no way to power up any of your weapons. There's no explanation for why the heck you can turn into a dragon randomly. There's no explanation to any of the any of the game. I figure, no, I couldn't I couldn't figure it out. It was just ridiculous. And then, um, so it's almost like Dark Souls kind of to an extent, mm. um, except that it's way ridiculously hard. Instead of rolling, you like blink and teleport a distance, and it just it just pissed me off. I tried recording it because, mm. and this is why I actually what I actually really wanted to talk about was I wanted to start trying a post commentary style. Okay. Um, because I've noticed that almost all of the videos that I watch nowadays on the ones that I enjoy are all like post commentary. Like if I look up a RuneScape video or something, it'll be somebody talking over, they'll be like, oh, this is me doing some PVP and then talking about what, how they ended up killing the person and then show some clips of them doing that. Or uh, if they're talking about, uh, I watch a variety of different videos. So like if they're talking about, bodybuilding or something it'll just be like footage of bodybuilding and they'll like talk about it and they'll whatever and that's not like technically post commentary because they're not like doing they're just like a voiceover it's not really like post commentary at that point right and then um doing like all sorts of different kinds of videos i can't really explain any other ones that come to mind but that sort of style of video i really enjoy watching and those are like really the only videos that i watch so i kind of wanted to just try making one of those videos to see how it would turn out mm -hmm. and i don't really know how it's going to turn out so uh, experimenting might as well go for it you know yeah now you uh, you said you were trying to record this is this going up on the channel Oh, that's not, it's not going up. I can't do it. It's, uh, I can't, I can't play the game. It just pisses me off too much. Uh, <laughs> I just can't play it. I'm not continuing it. I can't make it past the third boss. I'm done. Okay. I'm looking at it on Steam and it says, like, people, a few of the comments that people have left, it looks like it, there's only three chapters, I guess. I can't even, I didn't even know there was a chapter. <laughs> and, then, and then the description says there's 30 to 50 minutes of gameplay. That's super interesting. Because... I, I played it for an hour just to beat the first boss. Oh. <laughs> it's, I... it's interesting because, like, that there's no, like, it doesn't say that this is early access or an alpha or anything like uh -huh. that. So it's weird. It's weird yeah. that it's, it's less than an hour of supposed it's gameplay. Ridiculous. That's wild. It's ridiculous. But it looks I'm looking at the, the video and the uh pictures. It looks nice. It looks like a solid game. It looks it looks like a good game. It doesn't play like a good game. <laughs> there's a there's a bush right as soon as you get out of the tutorial section. There's like a branch on one of the bushes that just hovers across the ground. And you just like watch it hover and like hovers like probably a good three feet away from the bush and then it hovers and it goes back into the bush and then it hovers out again like it's it was really weird yeah. i sat there and stared at it for a good like <laughs> two minutes the living trying bush. To figure out what the heck happened to the bush like why does it keep moving it's just <laughs> one branch it's like it's like they forgot to make it solid and stay where it was and it just keeps hovering <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh so that happened um and then other games I've been playing, well, I played The Binding of Isaac, but uh, that was intentionally made bad specifically so I understood the concepts that you were trying to teach me earlier. Because I get, I get alt play, uh, I mean, chill, sorry, alt plays ch ch channel, mm -hmm. chill is the guy. Sorry, I keep good. forgetting that. You're good. Um, chill. I get chill to like teach me uh, how to make videos because he's like the almighty 
when it comes to YouTube, at see, least for me to like look at. See, I don't like. I, I I told you last time. I don't like that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not a. What's what's the term? I'm not the master. You know of editing. I I know how to edit for like my style. I know how to develop a style. Mm-hmm. It's it's not. There there are rules when it comes to video production things like that. But then you don't always follow every rule like rules rules are meant to be broken but you have to have a reason to break them and and a, a lot of the things in the video that you did for binding of isaac they break the rules but they, exactly but they break uh-huh. and a few of them break them properly like the reason you broke it is 100 percent acceptable and a few of them don't or I, I shouldn't say they don't it's just that they they don't deliver in a way that they should if if it's broken. I wonder if I wonder if like you can figure out which ones. Like even aside from the notes that I gave you, or mm-hmm. from from my my thoughts, I wonder if you can see which ones did and which ones didn't. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I played that game, and I again I specifically made it so that like wrong in in terms of pacing for the video. Like I'll stick. Uh, like uh, I can't again specific examples don't come to me uh I'll stick one part in the video like just randomly like within the video somewhere and it's like not supposed to be there it could be at the beginning or at the end which would make it far more suitable which Mm -hmm. but then I just like stuck it directly in the middle of the video and things like that on on purpose to try to understand more like what I'm supposed to do and what I'm not Mm -hmm. supposed to do and then, uh, so then you can check that video out. I make hot pockets at the beginning of it. <laughs> it burned me three times, and I didn't learn my lesson. Uh. <laughs> I burnt myself on a corn dog yesterday because of it. Hot I gotta stop burning I, myself. I, I haven't had a hot uh, a hot pocket in what feels like years. I, I think the last time I had a hot pocket was like when. We were throwing parties in our apartment in college. <laughs> that was a Yo, long time ago. <laughs> when you're a little kid, it's all about the ham and cheese. But as an adult, it's about that pizza flavor. Yeah, we had it was it was pepperoni. That's I'm gonna mm-hmm. give you guys the cheat. This is a cheat code to life. This is one of Chill's cheat codes to life. If you're in college and you're having parties. In the after party, you got to have pizza hot pockets, pepperoni hot pockets. Trust me. Trust me. Yes. Trust me now. Thank me later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you live in the dream, boy. I'm, I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. There's very few things that I know, but I know hot pockets. <laughs> That's great. Oh, jeez. Would you like to uh, go into another game or would you like for me to... Go ahead and name um. It. I mean, go ahead. I I ranted about that game, and that was uh, that was on my mind. Oh, I've also played I played another game, but I'll get to it after you go. Kids are screaming so loud. They're like, gosh, breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so one of the games that I've played over the past two weeks is The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. It's it's, da, na, na, na. it's you know what I realize <laughs> that sounds not in the game at all as far as I know I won't say at all I won't say at all because okay. obviously I haven't I haven't okay. that game is too fucking huge I haven't beat the whole game I don't think I don't think mm-hmm. I've done half the stuff in the game but uh, over the past two weeks I've been playing that game and for what I can tell that sounds not in the game once maybe maybe it is maybe maybe it's very early on because I I would have. I think I would have made a note like on my I've been I've been tweeting on my personal account, personal Twitter account. Uh I've been basically LPing it but through tweets. I've been telling people what I've been doing and and what I've been thinking. Actually, that's how I start before I did YouTube. That's that's how I would do LPs. I would tweet, oh, really? I, I would tweet through video games. People people would think that my life was going off the walls. But I was actually playing Grand Theft Auto. I was playing Grand Theft Auto <laughs> four and five. People, were, people were like, "Oh my God, what the hell is happening to Chill? Is he okay?" I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just playing. I'm playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto. I'm trying to get me some cars." Uh, but, but I've actually been tweeting through that. Uh, someone asked me, "Am I gonna play Legend of Zelda on the cha- on the channel?" 
I I might. Originally, I said no. This is I didn't buy this to play stuff on the channel. I, this is this. I I absolutely did not pay three hundred sixty dollars to play a video oh game gosh. on the channel. But I realized, you know, if I make Switch. it so, if I make it pretty far through this game, um, to the point where stuff can't really be spoiled, I might start a second file and play that on the channel. But I got, I got a couple of rules. If if you if you come into chat and ruin the experience for me, I'm blocking you. I'm blocking you. I'm not even. I'm not. Oh. No second chances. No second chances. Um, savage. No, I and I mean it. The the uh, if if you've if you've seen one of my videos or if you've checked out one of my streams, then you know how much how much it means to me to experience something. I, I never like answers given to me. I don't like to cheat. I don't like to look stuff up. I like to experience things completely blind, without help, without any external resources. So to come to come into chat and be like, hey chill, there's an easier way to do that. That's literally making me waste my money and, and taking away an experience that I could never get back. There's no if you if look at it this way. If you're trying to if I'm trying to figure out what five plus five is and I don't know how to do addition me trying to figure out how to get to the mind answer. blown me, me me trying to figure out how to get uh, the answer of 10 is the experience if you come in and tell me hey chill it's 10 you just ruined my experience you completely just ruined my the only chance i had to learn that myself now i i might i might be able to remember that but i'll never be able to take that experience and apply it elsewhere don't ruin five plus five for me that's all i ask that's all i ask if i'm doing stuff in the not optimal way then let me do it the not optimal way let me do it my that's way a, that's what i say let, i i get people in the chat always be yelling at me like do it this way. Do it that way when I'm playing Dark Souls. And I'm like, dude, just chill out. I'm playing it the way that I'm mm -hmm. going to play it because I don't know any other way of playing it. Right. I'm just going to do it. Like, right. Don't. I, I be. You, oh, sorry. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Good. Okay. I, I beat an entire boss in Dark Souls. Um, called, he's like one of the most favorite fights in the DLC. He's uh, Artorius. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, there's this part where he like rolls away from you and he starts powering up and he gets like this purple aura about him and he does he basically instant kills you no matter what he hits you with mm -hmm. well i didn't know you could block it by hitting him like a couple times when he's doing that mm -hmm. and then it'll just stop that whole thing so i did the entire fight pretty much without taking any damage whatsoever after he does that move mm -hmm. because i knew it would instantly kill me so i did it like way harder than it needed to be but um gosh uh yeah uh it was, it was a it was a struggle like I, i'll i'll give a, a relevant example in the game i know one one of the major new mechanics is um crafting you can you can find animals and food and plants and stuff around the world and effectively cook them to uh, combine them in different combinations to come up with different food and potions and elixirs that are actually more effective than their parts individually. Now you can, Minecraft, right? Right. It's effectively Minecraft. Um, now you can you can use that to make food for you to eat and heal or have different attributes. Like you can you can survive better in the cold or in the heat. You can take electric damage a lot better. Uh, and then you can also sell stuff. I know for a fact that the second I realized, oh, I can I can make stuff and sell it and get rich. That 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 that's one of the things that I love in in game uh, survival games that have crafting and selling. I, I I love that. I love that. So so it, it lets me. It gives me a chance to figure out. Okay, so if I find this item and those items, mix them together and sell them, I can I can have enough money to buy the things that I need throughout the game. And then what I like to do is say, okay, so I found this item and those items, but if I take those over there, they're of better quality. When I mix it together, I can get more money. If I start playing this game on the channel and someone comes in and says, hey, chill, this, this, this will give you the most money, I'm blocking everybody. I'm blocking everybody. All of YouTube's getting blocked. 
Don't tell me. Let me figure it out. Let me figure it out. <laughs> I, I love exploration. I love the whole, like most of the games. If it's not primarily a puzzle game that I play on the channel, it's all it's it's most likely about exploration. I, I love I love to figure things out for myself. I, the way my brain works, if I figure it out myself, I'll do a, I'll I'll remember it so much better than if someone tells me the answer. Uh, that said. Taking that experience away from me is the most painful thing ever. Let me do what I want. <laughs> Let me figure it out my way. Don't give me the answer. Uh, there's there's going to be a few games, actually, that I play that I'm I'm going to get and play it on the channel just to, like, test the waters, see if YouTube can behave, see if, see if my subscribers can handle me playing a game the way I want to. Because I've been playing Legend of Zelda on the channel. I bet, like, the original Zelda. I played mm – -hmm. what else did I play? I played Pokemon on the channel. I played so many different games, and they were all – so many older games, and they were all able to handle me doing it the way I wanted to, even though something was clearly – not the most optimal way to do it or not the least expensive way to do it. Me doing it my way. Don't don't do this. Don't ruin this for me or, or I'll go back I'll go back to playing games from the nineties. Don't do this. Dun dun dun. Oh, <laughs> the, man. the ball's in your court. People have been asking me for the longest. Chill, we go play a more a more recent game. I'm I'm giving it a shot. I'm give, if you can't behave, I'll play it by myself. I'll play it by myself. <laughs> You're playing with yourself. This, um, <laughs> this is your warning. I'm, I'm warning everybody. Let me play it my own way. If you don't let me play it myself, I'm going to play it myself. Wait, I, 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 don't, I don't have to. I don't oh have to gosh. stream it. I don't have to stream a damn thing. I'll play it. Dang, I, I've been, right. Let's see. Zelda, I've been playing this since the beginning of the month by myself with no problems. Mm -hmm. I can go back to play it by myself if I want to. <laughs> I... Uh... I have a differing, uh, differing opinion about Dark Souls now after being having played it. Oh, if you uh, at the end of the last podcast, we were debating on whether or not we could bring this topic up, mm -hmm. or if we we're going to save it for a later podcast. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens that I I put my foot in the door and made it in here as co-host, so I'm I'm here sooner. Uh, <laughs> So we can talk about this now. You are good uh, now. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm like to it'd All right. be fun, but All right. was uh, this was this what you have mentioned to be a Discord? What you what you uh, want to bring up, or was it some? Oh no, that was that was a Dragon Sin thing. That was that was pissed me off. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. I got, you. I got you. This um, so if I, if I can entirely remember the argument, or it wasn't really an argument; it was a debate. Yeah. Debate and argument are two different things. Okay. Well, I would All say sorts. I would say it's a discussion. We we weren't. Uh, yeah. we, neither of us were were yes. saying the other was wrong. Like we just had different differing opinions, and we weren't trying to convince. Yeah, the other. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Uh, so the whole point of it was Dark Souls was it a good game or a bad game? I think based off of a couple of features of the game. Um, and I, I don't entirely remember your side mm. that, but I do know that my, my point of view was that it was basically a puzzle game. Um, my brother says it's a memory game, which is different from, from that. And that kind of changed my perspective on it a little bit too, but I, I see it more of as a puzzle game. Um, and trying the puzzle is trying to figure out how to defeat a boss in a certain way and then um doing it mm -hmm. <laughs> actually attempting it and doing it and uh and then also the most efficient route to get back and the shortcuts and things like that and the little hidden secrets and was it more of like that or whatever your perspective was chill i don't remember that well mine was well while you say yours was that it was a puzzle game yeah you know, where the challenge is figuring things out i mm -hmm. i saw it more as an exploration game but in the in the field that i don't like in the field that you can't you can't play dark souls for the first time and beat it without dying and I don't, I don't like That's that. That's true. I, I don't. You can't like... be. You can't play it the second time and beat it without dying. Like if anyone does that, props to them. Well, I, well, I mean, I mean that to say that part of the 
game's quote unquote mechanics are to fail over and over until you figure out why you're failing and do something about mm-hmm. it. I, I don't yeah. like I don't like the idea that you can't just pick the game up, play it, and beat in one shot. It doesn't it doesn't have to be super easy. It doesn't have to give you hints that keep you from dying. But I don't like the fact that it is nigh impossible to have never seen this game before, never have played it before, and get through it without dying. That's that's it's hard to get through the tutorial without dying. Let me tell you, that game is pretty difficult. Like, like I said, uh, I like figuring things out. I like figuring out how to do uh-huh. things, uh, not necessarily the right way, but to make things work. Um, I'm not a fan of you died. Why did I die? Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You got. You got to. You got to figure out why you died. <laughs> I. I at least like to know when I made a mistake. I would like to know what the mistake was. You yeah. don't. Again, you have to tell me the answer. You don't have to say you use your shield when you were supposed to use your sword. But I would like it to be clear enough for me to look at it and figure it out. And mm-hmm. and even still, for me to be, have a chance at beating it the first time around. You know. Yeah. Um. And. There, that's just something you don't get in because, like, okay, good good progression in a game would be like, uh, inter like Blitzbreaker. Uh, I don't know if you saw any of my Blitzbreaker blah, 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 Blitzbreaker episodes mm-hmm. um, on Between Lines, but uh, in that game, which I've made the third episode and haven't edited yet, and I don't know if I'm going to continue the game. Regardless, uh it teaches you a concept and then combines all and then teaches you another one and then teaches you another one in the separate levels. So stage one will focus on conveyor belts. Stage two will focus on cannons. Stage three will focus on uh, water or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then the final boss will have all of those things and you have to put all of your combined knowledge into all of those things. So technically you can beat it first try if you understood it. Mm -hmm. Uh, well enough so uh that would be a good game design well dark souls doesn't really do any of that it it does teach you different mechanics and like oh enemies can have different strikes or enemies can have charge attacks or enemies can do you know do this or do that Mm -hmm. but then the bosses don't necessarily correlate with what they can do because Mm -hmm. their attacks will be different speed or their attacks will be a different strength or uh their tells will be far different Mm -hmm. because a lot of the time you can have like a balder knight a balder knight will hold his sword out and wave it in front of you. And then if you attack him, he'll parry you and basically instantly kill you at the very beginning of the game. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a tell. And you, and after it happens a couple of times, you'll know that, but until you do it, you won't know that that's, that's a thing to be aware of. Right. So in that sense, like it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a bad game design, but also you have to think about how, in death there's not really that much of a consequence because people they, the the game developers knew you were going to die a whole bunch so they didn't mm-hmm. make it very penalizing if you died right. the only thing they lose is basically souls which are the currency of the game mm-hmm. um when you level up so experience and money is is about it right though in bragging bragging points which aren't really <laughs> like an in, embedded yeah. mechanic you know yeah um, that now that opposed to any other survival game, uh, most of the time you're punished, but you're not punished as badly as death. You know, you mm-hmm. if if it's if your survival mechanics are making food and cooking, and in cooking you accidentally burn down your base, you haven't died. There's still a chance for you to survive, yeah. but it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. And hopefully, mm-hmm. hopefully you've taken uh, some measure or some note of what to do next time, you know, not to have all of your resources so closely to a fire or, or find some way to make it so the fire can't get to your resources or protect your resources some other way. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and, and like, like I said, neither of us are wrong. You, you enjoy Dark Souls, and, and that's fine. I, I well, that, that right there, that's, that's the differing opinion that I have on it now. Oh, you don't enjoy it? 
I <laughs> got it's gotten to the point. Okay, so I liked it up until um, Artorius, uh, and then now that I've gotten there, mm. and I've played two Artorias twice now. I've I've started another account and played exactly to where I'm at now. I was just keeping pace with it, mm. and I really after playing through it the second time i realized how little difference there is in all the bosses because i really I, at, at the beginning i was more focused on like how new everything was because it was one of the very first games that i had played that was a, a game with a controller and a game that you know you have to fight swing your sword at different things like it was it was an entirely new concept to me i've been playing other games like minecraft and you know stupid things like that where it's like it's not the, not the same, same as something like dark souls not as hard and the graphics are better and so on and so forth um so i was more focused on all of those things and after playing through it the second time i realized how little difference there is in the bosses and their mechanics um like and, and well not well, not necessarily the bosses in themselves but rather the way that you go about killing them mm -hmm. because after i've made it you know through it again well up to the i mean probably about halfway through more than halfway through the game i would say uh i've have i've 70 hours in it on my main streaming account and then an 140 hours in it total so i'm sure that you know i have a, I have a lot of time in that game mm -hmm. uh for the short time that I've had it and uh -huh. like you just go about it by entering the boss fight, holding up your shield and then seeing all the different attacks that the boss does. It'll go through all of its different animations. And then once you see an opening to attack, you attack like once and then you go back to just observing its different attacks and its different movements and what it does. And then, you just find another opening and you hit it. And that's literally all it is for all the bosses. You just go in, you're like, okay, there's an opening where I can hit it. Smack. <laughs> like, it's not that hard once you... And it's also not that fun after a while. <laughs> okay. So with that in mind, like, this is a question yeah. I actually... I, like I said, genuine voice. This is a question I like to ask people about games. Uh, this is Dark Souls 1. With with all Indeed. that with all that in mind, would you be interested in playing Dark Souls two, whether it's for your channel or uh, on a personal uh, level? Yes, yes, and not just because I've already bought it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, it's because it's a different game. You know, it it doesn't it doesn't have to stay in the same. I know Dark Souls two is entirely different. And a lot of people's least favorite game of the series was Dark Souls 2 because of the mechanics that it has. And I know that there's one where if you die, you lose health permanently until you uh, get some sort of item to replenish that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of a cool concept. I don't know if it'll be able to sustain that sort of like interesting feeling, like new interesting feeling throughout the entire game. But I do know that uh, that's at least enough to get me to interested enough to play it and like see what it's like versus the first one and if I like that one more if I like uh, the first one more because obviously the developers got feedback and they know what works and what doesn't and I'm sure that they tried to extend it off and uh, try to make their game better in the second one that's usually how it works with games you usually get better with movie sequels you get worse uh, <laughs> So, I, I'm definitely willing to do that, and I played a little bit of Dark Souls 3 just to see how my computer handled it, and it was great. Yeah. All of the all of the little small details that you wouldn't even think to have when you're playing the first one, in the third one, they're smoothed out so nicely. Like, the rolls are smooth, and you can feel it, like, the 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 amount that you can like you can walk a little bit when you're healing yourself you know the the, the uh sword swings are a little bit less janky like mm -hmm. jagged they, there's more of a flow to them and things like that and it's it's really nice and i really like it um so i'm definitely gonna be playing that one i don't know how the boss fights are though but it will uh 
it'll keep me entertained for a good while to play mm-hmm. that one. Okay, that's that's actually good to hear. And like, I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you like it. You know, I'm glad mm-hmm. that, I'm glad that you're enjoying the experience of playing it and and uh, even realizing the faults of the game or the downfalls of the game mm-hmm. isn't dissuading. I guess that's a word. Isn't isn't pushing you to not play the next one in the series? Yeah. As long as, as- I, I mean that that doesn't seem fair almost in my opinion it doesn't seem fair to just not play a, a entirely different game like yeah sure it's still the same concept and it's probably going to be similar in gameplay but it's not like the exact copy of it like you're not going to play it just because it's it's that's like not not caring about somebody's opinion because they don't have the same political it's like <laughs> uh, what that's like one small minute <laughs> detail that like it shouldn't matter. It's like they're a doctor. You should go to them for medical advice, but you don't listen to them simply because they're a Democrat. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it makes sense, you know? It's info that, so, that isn't important is yeah. is persuading you to not care about it. I got you. Yeah. So, so that's kind of the thing. It's like, well, they're still a human too. Like, <laughs> no more than you do about doctors. It's probably doctor stuff, whatever. Yeah. So there's that. Um, I got, uh, I got one more game before we actually uh-huh. get into uh, okay. the question that you posed over in your stream that you posed to put on the podcast. I got one more game. Oh shit! What happened? Let's see. I was think I was thinking about. Oh, okay. I was say I was thinking about one game and I saw a million pop up on my channel. And I was like, I don't remember anymore. Uh, I've given in and I've started playing one of my one of my guilty pleasures once again with yourself. Uh, no. Well, 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 yeah, with myself because it's a, it's a single player game. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a single player game unless unless you're nasty. No, um, I've been playing. <laughs> I I started back playing Hearthstone again. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. It's it's. I want I want to talk about. It. <laughs> no, I've, I, I've I, heard a lot of good and a lot of bad about the game. There, there's it. The good and the bad for Hearthstone are the typical good and bad for trading card games, collectible card games in the year 2018. Like, it's no different from any other. Um, The good ones are expensive and hard to collect. It's like, well, duh, it's a trading card game. Yeah, and and then that's that's no different from literally any any other trading card game that lasts more than three months will have that same issue. Um, mm-hmm. For for a little bit of reference, I started playing Hearthstone in beta. I was playing during the close beta. Um, mm-hmm. I would play once a day in close beta until it went live, and wow. then and that was because like and I think I still have the videos on the channel somewhere. I was like, hey, I'm playing this cool game. It's called Hearthstone. It's based on characters in the World of Warcraft uh, series, and and let's take a look. And then at the end of the video, I'm like, eh, this game's a little bit weird. I don't think I'm going to like it. Lo and behold, <laughs> lo and behold, there would be a point where I was playing this game for three hours a day. Like, instead of sleeping, wow. I was, instead of sleeping, I was playing to to wow. get my coins up. Because, uh, and also for reference, like I said, I play I would play this game daily at least, at least two hours at one point in my life. And I haven't spent a single, a single penny like actual real world penny on anything in the game. Uh I have I have most most of the legendaries. I have a lot of the rares, uh things like that. So so like I I've, I've genuinely played this game a lot. I, I, I used can't to... Go ahead. I can't say the same thing about Pokemon Go. I spent some money <laughs> on that. I uh, spent I spent a couple few dollars on that. At w- at one point I knew the ins and outs of ranked. I I would be able to get really high in ranked. Um I stopped playing about a year ago, primarily because I started at my job that I'm currently at now, and I didn't have a car, so I would take the bus, and on the way to work, I'd be on the bus's uh, Wi-Fi playing Hearthstone. Uh, once I once I got my car, literally, I had no more no more time available to play Hearthstone. That like I realized that's you're what driving. Happened. Yeah, I realized that's what happened. I stopped getting on the bus to go to work. I had no more time where I wasn't doing anything. Uh, mm. So I stopped playing Hearthstone for about a year, and then I started back playing. Uh, Are you still sleeping? 
Yes. You got to stop sleeping. I got, I got sleep back. So eventually I'll figure no. out how to not sleep anymore and I'll be back. There we go. There we go. Applaud. <laughs> uh, but, but, uh, what was I was saying, I stopped playing for about a year. Since like all the last year's worth of expansions, I have no idea what any of those cards do. And there, the only hmm. thing that brought me back is that they introduced this mode called Dungeon Run. Effectively, you're given about ten cards in your deck to start, and you play through preset, uh, preset enemies. They all have their own special abilities and gimmicks. And as you beat them, you add more. Like you pick a set of three cards, and you add those to your deck. So I don't have to dedicate a million hours of my life to play this game to get new cards i'm just playing with the ones that they, they're oh, randomly they giving provide. me yeah, yeah and, okay. and that that's the same way that i play magic the gathering now that's the same way that i play fable fortune now all these different card games because i don't have time or money to throw at these games and buy cards to keep myself up so i just play all these these draft or these pseudo draft formats that allow me to just jump back in dungeon run oh, is is pretty fun it's it's a pretty fun mode for the game because uh, it, it challenges you. It challenges you to understand each of the different classes, mechanics, uh, the cards available to them, how, uh, how how to take advantage of the game's rules and things like that. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I hope that <laughs> this is not the gateway drug to be dedicated <laughs> for my life. I, I say this all the time to people who say they're interested in, in playing card games and trading card games. This is a drug. This is this is definitely a drug. If if you're if you're not careful, you'll be addicted. Uh, I'm sure that's why they were designed, though. Uh, People want them, yeah. and they're just the, all they are is a printed piece of mm -hmm. cardboard, mm -hmm. and then you can just sell it for hundreds of dollars. Mm -hmm. and, these, like, these, yeah, these are drugs. You are messing around with drugs. I'm 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 mm -hmm. happy to say that I genuinely believe I was not addicted to hearthstone just like i haven't been addicted to magic like i i understand when to put the game down like i would get everything that i needed done before i would play hearthstone for three hours like the days that i didn't play hearthstone is because i was busy working or i was busy mm -hmm. handling something else I, I had my priorities in order but this this shit's a drug if you're not careful understand understand that you gotta have your priorities in order before you start playing in That's buying trading card games and collectible card games. But if you have your stuff in order, you can you can be great. You can be great only for twenty nine ninety nine each each new season. <laughs> true, true. Okay. The the feature the feature that we, we came here today for. Uh uh Mr. Jonas. Mr. Jonas, you you yes. you posed a question during your stream. And I did. and I actually like the question. It's a really it's a really deep question. Would you like to pose it once more for the the watchers of the Adventure Cast? What is your name? What is your quest? And what is your favorite color? I don't think. No. Oh, okay. It was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those were the questions. Uh, that was. That was the reference uh -huh. to uh, Monty Python. Uh huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> um anyway it is uh what is your perfect world what is your perfect world, perfect I, I, world. I like i said i actually like that question because it that how people answer that question actually tells you a lot about that person it's it's yeah. it's primarily going to tell you what all they've been through uh the things that have affected them in the past and what they naturally what they wish the world was like what what it would what they wish the world would become in the future would you would mm -hmm. you like to answer first or do you want me to since you asked the question i i definitely want you to answer first okay. specifically that this is only because i don't want your answer at all influenced by my answer because my answer i know won't be influenced by yours because i've already thought it out in my head and already have an idea and explanation for why i think what i think so if you if you're not entirely sure about what you're going to say or like if you have any sort of thing that would be added on by what i have to say then i feel like that would be a little bit ungenuine no that's so. fair that's fair i have an idea of yeah. of what my perfect world would be and then as i talk i'm probably gonna 
go on like in detail. Yeah. Um, my perfect world typically would be a world of freedom where people are allowed to do whatever they want as long as what they want doesn't inhibit anyone else. It doesn't keep anyone else from doing what they want to do. Now, how I got there. Okay. Like I said, I played a lot of trading card games, a lot of collectible card games. Uh, my favorite one by a long shot is Magic the Gathering. For those of you who don't know, Magic the Gathering is a card game from the early 90s, and it's it's been pumping very strong ever since. It's basically... It's it's run based off three different major mechanics. Uh, the first one is the most important, and it's called the mana system. Uh, in order to play cards, you have to, in order to play spells, which are cards that cost uh, mana. Mm-hmm. First, you have to play cards that generate mana. Uh, they're typically they're, sense. Hmm? yeah, yep, makes a lot of, makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Um, typically, they're going to be lands. The lands don't cost anything to play. And when you use, when you, I guess, exhaust them uh, for their action, they create uh, mana. There's five different kinds of mana, white, blue, black, red, and green. And each one of those has its own qualities and its own characteristics. Uh, A lot of people like to personal uh, i shouldn't say personal persona personify that's what i'm looking for a lot of people like to personify each of the five colors because when you break it down each of the five colors all act like different kinds of people uh white likes rules and order blue likes laws and what is it laws laws and uh shit perfection i guess (laughs) laws and shit (laughs) (laughs) Black likes. Let's see. What what is black? Black likes. I'm not a blue. Let me, let me pull it up real quick because I like I'm I'm gonna get black wrong. I'm gonna get black wrong for the wrong reasons. Give me give me give me just a second. Wow. The 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 color pie. It, it, another term for it is the color pie. Black black is all about. Oh, there we go. Amorality, amorality, yeah, amorality. So, so the idea that there isn't a good or evil. Um, mm. Red is all about chaos and freedom, and then green is all about nature and preservation. Okay, okay. So, uh, like I said, I like to see. I, I my perfect world would be a world of freedom, as long as your freedom isn't at the cost of others' freedoms. I brought up the five colors because typically I use. Uh, I shouldn't say typically. That's the wrong word. In the past, I was trying to write a fanfic kind of of magic, and I would always make myself as one of the characters. And typically, when you come up with characters in the world of magic, you you relate them to one of the five colors or a combination of the five colors. I always relate okay. my I always relate my character to red, which is again the color of freedom, but red would sometimes be combined with white and red would sometimes be combined with black. And in those cases, you get a character who's all about freedom, but freedom under rules, freedom, freedom to an extent, freedom with an asterisk, you know? Uh, And you, Oh, excuse me. Bless you. Good, sir. And I, I always valued freedom. I've never liked being locked into something or I've, and I've never liked being forced to do anything you didn't want to do. Uh, so value, uh, freedom has always been one of the things that I value. I, I like to be able to do what I want. Um, but I've al- also always thought that your freedom shouldn't cost others their freedom. One of the, like in in a real world scenario, one of the things that I dislike with with such strong feeling is how people abuse the rule when it comes to uh service animals uh if if you're unfamiliar uh in the united states more or less every state you're allowed to have a service animal which is typically a dog or a cat but it could be any any other animal and most of the Uh time these animals are for emotional support or so that uh you can get around safely if you're blind or if you're hard of hearing uh, typically, you'd have a dog, and this dog is able to pick up on senses for you. They're trained and all the things like that. 
but what's weird about it is people people forget that sometimes others are allergic to dogs or others are allergic to cats or people have run into something i'm sorry run into a dog and had a terrible experience they were attacked by a dog uh the dog was vicious towards them uh, they lost something because it fell behind a gate where a dog was heavily guarding it. And, and people people repress these, but when they get around dogs, uh, they'll have breakout situations. Like they'll, they'll, they'll lose it, they'll, lose, they'll freak out, different things like that. I'm not saying people shouldn't have service animals, they shouldn't have emotional support animals, but where's the line when your support animal, your animal that's helping you is causing all these other people to be distressed now where's the line on that uh, uh, uh an actual example uh i know a person who has a an emotional support dog but the dog isn't properly trained uh i'm sorry they, i shouldn't say that there is no training for emotional support animals uh the training is on the lines of owner versus dog the dog doesn't follow the owner's uh, command the dog doesn't mm-hmm. sit the dog doesn't okay. stay the dog goes to the bathroom everywhere the dog's not trained in that regard not trained to be a service animal that's not trained as a pet uh the owner has no control over the dog so this dog when we go out in public this dog will run all over the place it'll bother people it'll bark at people and even if whether these people have problems with dogs or not, this dog is creating a horrible environment for everyone else. So does the emotional support of this one person mean that everyone else in the area has to be distressed because this dog isn't isn't behaving, I guess is the word that that's that's mm. that's one of the things that bother me. Uh, your freedom, your freedom is now costing others uh, their freedom, their their ability to be out in the world and have a good time and not be bothered by anyone or anything. This case being the dog. Uh, that's 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 where I stand that my perfect world would be a world of freedom where where your freedom isn't superseded by someone else's freedom. End scene. Do you have any way of going about that, though? It's... Like if, if, if you, like, say if you were going to influence your, like, try to advocate for your cause, like, if that was your cause, how would you advocate for it, I guess? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know that any laws can be put in place because, like I said, uh, it's, it's, there's, Aside from having the dog registered or the pet registered, there's no way to there's no way to make requirements for a service dog. Uh, mm-hmm. In 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 a broader scene, it's it's hard to say okay, you can't do this, and then have it be in the case of this is my freedom, this is what I want to do, but your your um you're riding you're overriding someone else's freedom this is what they want to do and what you want to do is making it so they can't do that it's it's hard uh there could be laws in place but again the only people who follow laws are the people who follow laws if everyone has freedom they're going to do what they want to do yeah they're going to do what they want to do and then then that that's kind of the problem with that like looking at it is like you can't I, I agree with you that that is a good, like, uh, that's a pretty perfect world, I guess. If nobody bothers anybody else, like, nobody gets on anybody else's nerves because or anything like that because you're uh, interrupting their freedom or you're, mm-hmm. you know, or you're impeding on their ground. But there's no way to go about right. that because if you think about it, if you advocate for that, it's sort of impossible because then you'd be a hypocrite because mm-hmm. you're you're trying to influence other people's perspectives mm-hmm. to be your perspective be when yeah. you could be yeah, which would be ruining the whole point of having freedom. Mm-hmm. If everybody thinks the same, then there is no freedom. Mm-hmm. And so that's like the kind of interesting conflict about it, which 
in in theory it makes perfect sense mm-hmm. but then in reality it's impossible yeah, it, it's something it it makes sense on a on a very mental st- on a mental yeah. level you know the second you try to implement it you're already you're already it's already stuck. it's already it's already thrown yeah. out the window yeah, so that's the same with cuz it it stops things it actually helps to stop things like stealing killing you yeah. know but then mm-hmm. on, on the on the level of i'm not doing anything illegal it, it it that's where the problems come in you know mm-hmm. it's 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 that you find loopholes and then your loopholes make loopholes that that's that's yep. where the problem yep. is all all the legal stuff is fine no one no one ever gets killed anymore no one ever loses anything but <laughs> now we have the problem of i want to yeah. walk here and me walking here upsets this man <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yeah, little, the little stuff is the problem then. and then at that point you have to value whether or not and then this is my whole point like uh this leads into what i have to say actually this is great um if you are if you're debating on whether it's moral to or in this perfect world setting if it's correct like you can step onto that grass because it's something that you want to do and you have your your right Mm -hmm. uh to do this well if it's hurting somebody else's feelings like the owner of the grass or the owner of whatever Mm -hmm. uh how much how what what is their opinions value versus your own opinions value Mm -hmm. if they're entirely equal then that that's when it would be perfect but there is no there is no you stepping on the grass and not making them upset Mm -hmm. even though like so it's either one way or the other so that that is where it kind of in lies with mine is because in my perfect world nobody's opinion matters Mm -hmm. the only opinion that matters is your own because there is the what you get out of the like okay if i were a a, i don't know rabbit okay Mm -hmm. if i were a rabbit and i live my life and i grow up and i have fun what i do what i want to do and die like reproduce and die or whatever like i i'm not necessarily having no one else's opinion like any other rabbit's opinion influence me mm-hmm. but it gets it, it you're a lot happier throughout your life because you don't have anybody telling you, you don't have any other friend rabbit saying you're a small rabbit right you're a dumb rabbit you're a horrible rabbit you shouldn't be a live rabbit mm-hmm. like no one no 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 nobody would <laughs> everybody would be like what that makes no sense but then that that's what's happening here is because we have uh, the ability to communicate effectively with each other as human beings and be able to create uh, thoughts mm-hmm. that uh, and opinions and develop like all these different opinions, differing opinions about different things. Like it creates so much conflict when if nobody's opinion matters to you. The, you can only be happy because it's only your thoughts say if i were to if i were to play uh do a puzzle mm-hmm. right if i were to solve this puzzle in two days it took me two days but i solved it and i was happy with myself but then somebody comes up and it's like oh i solved that puzzle in two two hours or whatever mm-hmm. and then you're you feel bad about yourself even though you shouldn't feel bad about yourself and you didn't feel bad about yourself until their opinion saying oh i did this and two two hours makes you feel bad because now you feel stupid because you weren't able to solve it as fast as they did even though they that shouldn't impact you at all because you shouldn't like in in the perfect world well so there's no way again there's no way to go about that but that's just like how you think because if you have nobody influencing you ever throughout your life you would never have any sadness right I was and there was also would also be never have any um would never have anybody would, would basically be animals at that point we wouldn't be intelligible at all because right. the only reason why we're intelligent is because we have opinions and this is kind of where it reaches into the mm-hmm. whole um what's the word ignorance is bliss mm-hmm. type of deal is where you can't be sad if you don't 
if you don't know there's a reason to be sad. Right. I would also say that 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 uh, if no one had an opinion, that would also contribute to a loss of identity because mm-hmm. after after all, we are all just where where we are currently is just a result of everything that we've been through. And part mm-hmm. of what part of what we've been through is us having opinions and doing something about it. So in your example uh, of the puzzle, solving a puzzle in two hours versus solving it in two days, uh, the person who solved it in two days or took two days to solve it, they they are at a crossroads. Now they can either try to do the puzzle again and become better or I'm sorry, become better by doing it faster or they can just not want to do the puzzle ever again because they felt that bad or many other different possibilities but each of those will be chosen by a different type of person based on their identity based on what all they've been through before how they've dealt with adversity uh how they see themselves versus others a whole bunch of different uh a whole bunch of different factors that would go into it and that's Mm -hmm. all that's all completely different cases if uh if we have no opinions it, it'd be rough it'd be rough for them to even reach that crossroad you know yeah it would never it will it would never occur right. and not only would it never occur that situation would never even be possible right like the only reason why uh animals and things exist right life exists is because we reproduce we have to interact with each other to mm-hmm. reproduce which means we have to have an opinion you know based on something right. you know hormones or whatever to actually want to reproduce but the, the the point isn't that this is something that he, then we can reach a perfect like maximum point of this is like a concept that you would apply to yourself and say something like oh like how high should i value other people's opinions right because uh in in my perfect world uh nobody's opinion would matter like and that would be the highest extent of that perfect example like the perfect example or exists of the perfect world mm-hmm. but it, the, you, that's unachievable right. that's theoretically possible so you'd have to gauge that solely based on yourself and say well how much am i going to let other people's opinions influence me how much am i going to how, how much backlash am i willing to take to actually walk onto that person's grass right you know even because i want to but then I know that I'm going to get yelled at by that guy and the police will get involved or whatever, blah, 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 blah. You know, mm-hmm. how much are you willing to take to be able to do what you want to do? So I would, that, and then if you apply that, to, oh, go ahead. You know, I, I think it might not be impossible. I think it would just be uh, random, you know? Let's see, what would you say? Uh, with reproduction, uh, maybe not everything would be at random maybe yeah. some stuff would be impossible but some stuff would be random like for example if if let's assume we never we never uh ate the fruit from the tree you know then okay. then when it comes to reproduction it wouldn't be oh i want to rep- reproduce with her because she's really smart and i'm really smart maybe that means we have really smart children together and that would help us to uh have have a stronger family line instead it would just be at random it would be oh i want to reproduce with her why because I know that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to reproduce. Got to reproduce with someone. Okay. Let's roll the dice. You know, yeah, something like, something like that might be random. But then I, I I I guess we could say that not everything would be random. Some stuff would be impossible. Okay. You know. Yeah. Um. And so for me, like, uh, I would gauge it, like, again, it, close friends, of, like, two two or three close friends after talking to, you know, multiple friends about it. And everybody's like, people are saying the complete opposite thing. Like, Oh, you're, that's good. That's a good thing. That's a, that's a bad thing. That's a good thing. Like how many people saying, Oh, that's a bad thing. Does it take for you to reconsider like what you're doing? Right. And, um, that's the whole like self-esteem thing. Like how many random strangers have to tell you you're ugly before you actually <laughs> believe that right. you're ugly? Like how, you know, how long is it going to take? Um, and how, what, what, how many opinions is it? Cause you have to, you have to factor in that you're not like in the YouTube comments. If you have YouTube comments on your video, mm-hmm. you know, how many of those people 
have an opinion that aren't putting it out there. You know, there's a lot of mm-hmm. negative reviews on different sites because whenever somebody gets something that they want and they're happy with it, they don't go back and leave a message and say, oh, good review or anything, unless it's very spectacular, mm-hmm. like quality. Like if it's just exactly what they wanted, they're going to be like, oh, OK, and on their way. Right. It's but the, all the it's people the, that it's the negative all, people that are yeah, all the people that it. didn't get what they wanted or it broke mm-hmm. or it was scratched or whatever, all the people that got that product Mm -hmm. uh then they're gonna go back and complain and be like oh you terrible bastards you sold me this and stuff like that and then you get a bunch of negative reviews on it when reality the product's not bad at all right so you're gonna gonna factor that in on like youtube youtube a lot of people are saying oh you did the wrong thing or this is terrible content or this is not something that we want to watch like you'd have to be like you have to take into account like how many people are there that are actually okay with it, you know? Um, and so for me, it's, you know, it, lo- it differs person to person, but like the percentage wise of people that uh, I would have to take the, the opinion of to consider it over my own opinion of what I want to do. Cause that's, I guess what it is, is like, you're saying, okay, I'm at the top. Mm-hmm. How many people's opinions is it going to take for it to reach above above my head and then say, okay, I got to relook at this, do some more research, try it from a different angle, et cetera, to be able to uh, do what's generally better. Right. Well, but I guess th- this is actually a really, it's a dope question. I'm giving this the dope question stamp. The, the label, <laughs> label the dope question. We got to get a stamp now. We have to. Give it the dope question stamp. Uh, it's it's something that I would actually like to pose to the audience, everyone that's watching, everyone that made it this far into the video. I would like to know what is your idea of the perfect world? What is your perfect world? Feel free to post that in the comments below. Uh, I guess we can acknowledge uh, a few responses in the next uh, episode. We'll, we'll probably do if, it. If time. they get this far. Right. I, I would hope. I would hope that someone made it this far. <laughs> I don't know about that. I wouldn't watch me for that long. And and <laughs> f- f- uh, as as realistic or unrealistic as it is, like f- feel free to post that. Like I said, I know for a fact mine my perfect world is unrealistic. I, mm. As as, as much, well as as much as I would love for people to do whatever they want without hampering or hindering others from doing whatever they want. I know that that is something that would never ever happen because cuz we got we're human. We got yeah, we're human. We got too many different kinds of people in the world and yeah. a lot of those different kinds of people don't want others to do what they want. So, I'm not going to get political. I'm not going to get political. <laughs> no politicals. Uh, mine's not unachie- uh, unachievable at a personal level. Mm-hmm. It's achievable at a personal level, yeah. guaranteed. It's it's uh, it's when because you talk it's grand. it's how it, that's how I look at the world. That's right. my perspective. And um, I, I, like saying that you want everybody, like a lot of it, I've get a lot of different responses for this. So I've had responses like, oh, world peace, you know, very generic, like world mm-hmm. peace. Like, what do you mean? How are you going to go about doing that? Um, you know, uh, I want to live in a forest all by myself escape off the world like off the grid everything just by myself in a log cabin i can sustain myself by hunting etc that's that's all i want is to be alone (laughs) i've had that i've had a bunch of people uh you know just try to explain some weird concepts Mm -hmm. like i didn't like okay there's this one guy i talked to co-worker who said He's like, man, I just wish everybody could see the world through my eyes. Like, dude, the like God's looking down on us from from the sun. It's you know, like the lights and the telus or in a in a microscope. What if the sun's just a microscope like the light from the microscope on us, like looking at us? And I was like, that's crazy. Mm. <laughs> so like <laughs> It's like face palm, but you know, I get a whole bunch of different responses for that. So, uh, to hear other people's responses, is just like fine by me. It's great. Mm. It's, <laughs> it's interesting that some of those were, I want to, I want to 
I guess, put down uh, others' perfect worlds. But it's interesting that some of them are so small that it's just focused on them, you know, like mm-hmm. what, what they want in their own life, as opposed to, I guess, ours. Ours were, this is what we want worldwide. This is, this is how yeah. we want the world to be. Not not our world, the world, you know? That's interesting. That's super the interesting. world. Because from, from the question, I didn't think you were talking – on a personal level, I didn't think you, mm-hmm. you were talking just this is what I want out of life. It, it, it felt like to me, this is what I want the world to be like. But some people, some people see it other ways and either way is wrong. Either way is wrong. All right. Mm-hmm. So, Jonas, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. Uh, feel free to do a little bit of promoting. Tell, tell us all about your millions of channels and what's going up on them over the next week or so. I don't know. Oh, great! Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what are your three channels? I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the links to I them have... in the description. But what what are your three channels that you do? Between lines, lost, and just JJ vlogs. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be trying new content on Between Lines. I'm going to be finishing streaming, or not finishing streaming, but doing more streams on lost and i'm going to be just making a random ass content who knows what it's going to be on the vlog channel okay and like there i said you go. like i said all the descriptions i'm sorry all the links will be all, all the, the all the descriptions are in the links <laughs> above <laughs> it's all going to be down there so you can very easily find it uh for all of jonas's work uh, as for alt play, what's going on with alt play over the next week or two? Uh, I should be getting some equipment in. Uh, the the I don't care what day it comes in. The day that I get it, I'm gonna be streaming uh, a game. I don't want to say which one. Uh, it's on a the game. it's on the switch, but I'll be playing a game. I'm gonna and I'm gonna test it out. Like I said, if, if you if you guys want me to do more more current games that I haven't played just yet, I'm gonna need you to not ruin it in chat. Cause I I can I can very easily play them on my own. I can get my money back and play it for myself. <laughs> but uh, but that's gonna be coming up. I, all I can tell you is subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. I haven't streamed on the channel. I haven't streamed on YouTube in I think three weeks now. Uh, mostly because like I guess I've been sick. A lot of stuff has been going on. I just figured, okay, let's let's use this as a cool down period. We'll come back with with our guns blazing. You know. Uh, so, mm-hmm. so the streams, it streams, I'm just going to come home, open up stuff, connect to the computer and go. It's not going to be any warning. Uh, just keep it, keep a lookout. Um, I plan on finishing Battleship Brigade. It's, it, listen, that game is hard. <laughs> that game is hard, but I think what I'm at is the last, the final boss. It feels like the story's about to wrap up. Eventually I'm going to beat it. That video is going to go up on the channel real soon. Uh, that's going to do it. If you guys want to follow me on the Twitter, make sure you follow at the alt play. I, I'm tweeting from both my personal account and that account. Uh, so it's going to be hell. It's going to be hell getting back to that swing. Thank you guys for checking out the adventure cast. I'm glad to have Jonas as a, as a permanent co-host. Yay. I you like my voice. Asterisk. <laughs> Oh, uh, how many more hundreds do you need? Or do we talk about this after? We talk about this after. As soon as we, oh. as soon as we stop pressing record. Okay, okay. guys, I'll, we'll catch you back with the next adventure cast in two weeks. Also, um, if you, if you're, if you're interested, if you have a topic that you would like for us to talk about, because, because it's gonna be hard for both of us to keep coming up with ideas. Uh, feel oh, free, definitely. feel free to leave those in the comments. Uh, uh we won't. I, I I don't I won't say that we'll do every topic, but we can we can figure out we can figure we can work some things out. We can get some stuff together. All right, guys, I'm a, I'm done being goofy. I gotta go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, see you Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Goodbye.